I'm at the farm with the horses, and um, the man who taught me about horses is 91 years old. And at this man's place, he has mules and horses in the late 30s. And he taught me everything about horses. The way he feed his horses is the way I've been feeding my horses for the last 20 years. Crack corn, oaks, <clears throat> and in the winter time, it's crack corn, oaks, and alfalfa pellets. I have been telling people for almost a month to two months now, stop feeding your horse a lot of feet in this hot weather. Horses in hot weather and eating just don't mix. You don't feed your horse the same in wintertime and summertime. Horses tend to eat more in wintertime because they're trying to store more fat. Where in summertime, they don't want to eat that much. What I've done, and I always do, in, in, in this hot weather, 90, 95, and 100 and above, I don't feed my horses a lot of feed. My horses are out in pasture, and I have four round bells. I keep round bells, fresh round bells, a round bell for each horse. In this kind of weather, in this hot weather, you have to, them horses got to have a lot of roughage, a lot of hay. I load my horses up with hay. My round bells are so big that it takes one of my horses a month to eat it. But what I also do is go out there and I fertilize my field. So if the horse is not eating the hay, they're eating the grass. And I know, you know, people set in their ways. You know, I got friends of mine, one of my friends, he been feeding this horse this high dollar feed. And I told him a month ago, stop feeding your horses so much and stop feeding them high dollar feed in this kind of weather. Oh, swole, blah, blah, blah. Called me yesterday's horse went to the farm to his his stable. His horse is dead. People listen to what I'm about to tell you. If you have ten, if you have a tin roof, a tin on your siding, that is making the inside of your barn and your stalls hotter for horses. It makes it it makes it hotter because that tin. When it gets hot, it gives off so much heat. In the last month, I know 10 people who horses died. 10. All because they don't want to listen. Oh, swole, if I stop feeding my horse like I used to, he's going to get skinny. He's going to get skinny anyway because of this heat. The heat is going to make him skinny. Horses know how to put on fat in wintertime. They know it. They know in wintertime they got to eat more. Horses have been around for millions of years. It's just us people got to learn. I had somebody tell me, man, you feed your horse, you know, oats and you know, crack corn and alfalfa and that's it. Brought them to my farm. My horses are big and fat. I mean, being in fact, Thunder is 32 years old, and he's built like he's five years old. And that's why I told him. I haven't had a horse colic on me in the last 15, 20 years. I used to be one of the people out there buying that high feed and thought the, the motor feed cost the better it was. Oaks, crimp corn, that's the summer. Winter, oak, crimp corn, and alfalfa pellets. That's it. My, I just left my horses. <laughs> they back there fat as hell. And my friend told me, man, I should have listened to you. Some people just don't want to listen and learn.